Hello everyone. Uh, myself Manjunath is working as an assistant professor in the uh, Department of Management Studies in Sayyid Institute of Technology, Rajan Kunta, Bangalore. In uh, today's class, we are going to discuss uh, little uh, you know, important uh, topics related to the retail management. So the contents is like this. Word of retailing, retail management. What is retailing? Definition and meaning of retailing. Characteristics of retailing, emergence of organization of retailing. So these all almost six points in a today's class we are going to discuss. So let us see the first one that is word of retailing. So just uh, the word of retailing, what about the, this word of retailing says. The retailing is a global high tech industry that plays a major role in the global economy. You know, uh, as per uh, you know, Indian government or any other government, actually, uh, frankly, the saying the retail industry, retail has not called as any industry. We are having only three industries: that is, primary industry, secondary industry, and moreover, third one will be tertiary industry. But still, uh, the retail is uh, having more importance as equal to other industries. It is playing a major role. It is a high tech industry. It is having all the technologies. It is, you know, many people are working in this uh, industry and also, you know, the technologically updated industry and more customers are attracted for this industry. More uh, investors are there for in the, this industry, but still it is not recognized as an industry. It is just a one business form. <clears throat> You know, especially in the U.S., just to we'll talk about the U.S. market, because we used to call that it is a U.S. is a number one country in the world. So let us talk about that U.S. industry, uh, you know, U.S. Uh, uh, retail industry. You know, uh, out of five people, one person is working in this uh, retail industry. That means, you know, 20% of the employment opportunity, which is given by the retail industry in the U.S., so retailers are selling their products and services through more than one channel. Before it was like they are keeping a products in the retail uh, stores and customers were coming and they're paying a money and they're getting a product and they're going and continue consuming the product. But now it is having a lot of uh, uh, you know ways to sell the products. It may be in stores and non-store retailing also is there through internet, you know, that uh, many uh, platforms are there like uh, Amazon, Mahindra.com, Flipkart, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Many retail, uh, in, you know, industrial, uh, uh, the retail industry products are selling through internet, and some catalog marketing is there. Like uh, they were giving a catalogs to purchase the product, and they are selecting the product, and they are they are giving a uh, you know order for the uh, manufacturers or uh, retailers or wholesalers, and they are distributing or they are uh, you know uh, selling with the using of their modes. <clears throat> then uh, many many ways. Nowadays, the products are coming for the doorstops and all. So that is the retail industrial, uh, uh, you know, the beauty of the retail industry. Then firm sells the services to the customers that, uh, you know, many services also coming uh, in, nowadays. That is innovative services. Before we were not having uh, that, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, function uh, or event management industry or event management business. Nowadays, that is also one services. That is also included in retail industry. Then <clears throat> we have not had that uh, restaurant uh, kind of things. Just we had small hotels and we are having a food and we are getting a satisfaction and we are uh, uh, you know satisfying. That's it uh, in, in that level itself. But now we are expecting a lot of things with uh, with, with having of uh, food in a restaurant and we are expecting some more some more extra th uh, things in that restaurant itself. We want to watch new news. We want to watch TV channels. We want to have some beverages also. We want to spend some time with uh, the, in that restaurant. We want to have that functions or something in the restaurants. So this all the some meetings, corporate meetings. This all things are happening. So that is a that is a varieties are included in this retail industry. Uh, then you know, you know you mean some more examples are there. Dry cleaning also came into this uh, retail industry. Automobile repairs nowadays it has came. Uh, you know, uh, the doorstep uh, services for the four wheelers, two wheelers. So this all included as a retail industry. This word of retailing, it is like, uh, you know, every day changing something in this uh, retail industry that the competitors are involving for the changes to bring changes in the retail industry. And also the customers also expecting some, uh, you know, 
new changes in this retail industry so that is adopted in the world of retailing then let us go for next point the the contents the second content which is there in our uh, today's topic that is retail management the various processes which helps the uh, customers to procure the desired merchandise from the local stores for the their end use refer to the retail management so retail management is a process when the customers are procuring what they want that is a desired merchandise product so just say like i want to purchase a, a, a shoe so that shoe is supposed to be customized according to my desire according to my expectation i want to you know fast running shoes so as for that i want to uh, search in, in in a retail store according to my convenience according to my satisfaction according to my comfortableness so that all i will see in the my while purchasing my shoe so the same desired uh, desired things will be fulfilled by the retail stores for the end use refer to the retail management that is a process after purchase if i felt it is uncomfortable immediately i will i will uh, you know ask that retail shopkeeper or i will uh, give that complaint for that uh, shopkeeper so this is the problem i felt so that all things are there it may be it is a process it's not like purchasing and consuming and uh, that you know sellers and purchasers uh, relationship has uh, you know closed it will be having a continuous process if any problem arises in between they will be uh, occupying this all uh, and they will try to give a solutions for this all issues of the customers then retail management includes all the steps required to bring the customers into the stores and fulfill their buying needs so it will be having many uh, steps like giving a advertisement for the retailers it is a promotion uh, part then after that understanding the customers uh, expectation by the retailers and fulfilling their demand later after purchasing it will be post purchasing we have to give a services we have to maintain uh, that uh, relationship long long uh, term relationship with the customers this all takes place in the retail management it is like it is a continuous process this is a routine process new customers comes we have to routinely we, uh, you know any any retailers supposed to be bring this uh, all stops again and again then one more uh, uh, you know uh, you know some more lines are there relating to the retail management that is retail management make shopping a pleasurable experience and ensure the customers leaves the stores with a smile there is a slogan in retail management the customer supposed to be walking for the uh, uh, the retail stores means entry with desire exit with smile that 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 is the main uh, so you know slogan of this retail uh, management or retail stores they have to have this uh, ambition they have to have this habit the customers when they are entering when they are made of their walk in for the your retail stores they have to leave your retail store with a smile that is satisfaction when they have this satisfaction they have they will be feeling happy and they will leave your house sorry your retail stores with happiness then retail management helps to customers to shop without any difficulty you have to give advice for them you have to give a idea for them you have to uh, you know give options for them you have to give some substitutes for them so as a retail management as a retailers we have to bring all the uh, you know platforms all the options for the retailers so that they are not supposed to be feel difficulty when they are purchasing product or when they are going to have the services in any retailers Uh, platforms then let us go for next topic that is the what is retailing we have some uh, three to four points related to the retailing try to understand we, we will try to understand that retailing uh, what, what what all steps are there in this retailing most common form of doing business see especially in a country like india we are having a huge population so where the more population is there another issue will arise us that is unemployment so when the employment opportunity has not got by any uh, person immediately they will look for the retail sector it may be they will they can have their own business as a small hotel or small tea shop or small businesses like uh, you know uh, any any, any the organized uh, retail shops or any other form of vegetable shops or, or fruit shops or whatever so that will they, it is a common form of doing a business it's not having any structural designs it's not having any uh, proper form of to uh, prepare their business 
they can have their own business according to their convenience according to their investment according to their uh, expectations it's a, it's a matter of their investment also so then second one it's consists of selling merchandise from the permanent location a retail store in small quantity directly to the customer consumers the small quantity through the retail shops they will be placing in, a, in they will be locating in a particular place and they are going to sell the product for the customers through their retail stores and the some quantity it may be not a big quantity it's a small quantity it may be like when we go to purchase vegetables we won't purchase 100 kg 200 kg and all we'll purchase half kg 1 kg 2 kg like that so according to the customers uh, expectation they are selling in a quantity wise so it may be they may, they may purchase in a huge quantity from the wholesalers but they will sell in a small quantity for the customers or consumers directly they can consume the product in a retail show, stores or in, in their place itself then these consumers may be individual buyers or corporate in these uh, retail stores it may be corporate people they also uh, they may purchase the product from the retailers and also individual person it may be they may be a customer they may be a consumer they will be purchasing from the retailers the retailer purchases goods or merchandise in a bulk from the manufacturers directly and then sells in the small quantities you know they, they may purchase retailers may purchase bulk quantity huge quantity it may be 100 kgs 200 kgs 1000 kgs it, it will call that one as one ton they, they may purchase in, in, in a huge quantity from the manufacturers or else if the manufacturers having some channels like a manufacturer wholesaler then retailer through wholesaler also they can purchase it the product in a bulk quantity then we are going for the uh, uh, you know next point that is shops may be located in the resi residential areas 90 percent of the uh, retailing uh, shops or retail shops are located in residential areas only why because it's a convenience it's a convenience for the customers to purchase a product in from that re uh, retail shops then colony streets also we the colony streets especially in a in, in india it is less colony streets but you know in the foreigners they will be having the colonies it may be nowadays it has came as a uh, apartments then community centers also or in a modern shopping arcades or like malls and all the shopping arcades small malls will be there big malls will be there shopping malls will be there so in that locality they will be starting their retail business the shops may be located in residential areas colony streets community centers or in modern shopping uh, centers like arcades or malls so then let us go for the uh, definition and uh, meaning of retailing according to the Kotler, he is the father of marketing. So we have to take it that uh, definition of the Kotler first. So retailing includes all the activities involving the selling goods or services to the final consumer for personal or non-business users, or personal or non-business users. So what is he, he, want, he is supposed to say or he, he tried to say Retailing includes all the activities involved in the selling, selling of goods or services. All the activities. It may be a promotion. Yes, promotion also included in the retailing. Then understanding the customers. Yes, it is, it is, it is uh, uh, tried to understand by the retailers to that customers, what, who are all their customers, their uh, background, their locality, their expectations, then how much quantity they are going to purchase. These all will be understandable by this retailing. Then after while purchasing, they will try to explain it. They will make a bargaining or they, will, they are going to sell the products in a huge quantity. They will try to push in a different ways. It may be price variations and all. So all, it may be all piece of the marketing mix will be takes place here. The product, place, promotion, then uh, physical ev evidence, then uh, process, people. These all people, these all piece are, will be involved in this retailing uh, 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 activities then the final cons uh, consumer or customers may be the person one who purchases it may, it may be a customer may be a consumer and he may be giving the same product for somebody for non business users he is not selling he is going to not he is not going to uh, continue that retailing process or selling process he will wind up in the in, in that level itself by the cons consumer consumer may consume the product by own or else the, he may hand over for somebody to consume the product, not with the expectation of the profit or any other monetary benefit.
then let us go for the meaning a process of promoting greater sales and customer satisfaction understanding of the consumer consumer of the goods it is promoting the uh, you know greater sales and customer satisfaction why the manufacturers are manufacturing the product to gain a profit how they will gain the product once the product has sold for the customers so how they can sell the products to the customers is it possible manufacturer to come for the market and selling the products for the customers like vegetable uh, uh, vendors it may be uh, you know agriculture is or farmer is coming and standing in a market and selling the pro, pro, you know vegetables for the customers it's not possible because he is busy with some his own process manufacturing process so he has to hand over that products for the wholesalers and wholesalers will be hand overing or he is pushing through that retailers and retailers are going to sell for the customers so the gaining a, uh, you know expectations or understanding of the customers exp expectation by the uh, you know retailers and promoting their sales and making the customers to have a satisfaction then the uh, the, uh, the whatever the company produce the product or services that supposed to be pushed for the customers to make them to have a satisfaction and as a retailers we have, they have to earn the profit that is a, the meaning of retailing the process it is a process of promoting more sales and customer satisfaction increasing the customer satisfaction with understanding the customer expectation so that is making us to push the companies to push their product or services that is called retailing uh, that is called retailing that is a meaning of retailing you can write any other uh, things it may be a definition or retailing uh, the meaning of retailing let us go for next topic that is the characteristics of retailing here i have uh, you know um, noticed seven uh, uh, characteristics it, it may it will be having a lot of characteristics but as per my knowledge i have prepared this one so i have list out only seven just have look of this one by one the characteristics of retailing the first one is direct interaction with the customers or end customers what is this direct interaction when the retailers have started their business as a retailing store or non retailing store they will be having a direct interaction direct interaction in the sense they will speak directly they will have the communication with the customers directly they will try to understand what they are expecting the customers expectations will be understood by these uh, retailers and they will be trying to push their products according to their expectations and they will try to satisfy them so that is the first characteristic that is a direct interaction they will speak sir what you want sir what 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 you are expecting sir at what price sir we will give the offers this all words will comes in between this direct interactions sir even that uh, you know personal interaction also comes sir how is how are your family how is your health sir how is your family sir how is your work sir sir can you have a cup of coffee this so all interactions will comes in between that is a, creating a rapport between the customers and retailers so that is the first characteristics of retailing let us go for next topic or uh, sorry next point that is sales volume second point point sales volume large in the quantities but less in the monetary values so they can push the large volumes large volume in the sense not for the single customers their single customers can't purchase more you know huge quantity so large quantity in the sense many customers many quantities <clears throat> so here the more customers will be there less quantities they will purchase so less for the single customer it will become the more for the many customers so that makes sense in this uh, characteristic so the sales volume large in the quantity which means many customers will purchase product in a less quantity but many customers numbers of the customers are more so it will converted as large quantity and less monetary values less monetary value in the sense if they may purchase 1 kg so 1 kg they can't give any offers or they can't expect more money from that so it is it is a one characteristic less volume uh, or sorry less uh, volume sorry sorry sales volume uh, is more it may be like more large quantity and less money so that is second characteristic then third is customer service plays a vital role customer services was the customer purchase the product they may expect some services while purchasing they may expect some services after purchase post purchase services just i will give an example two wheelers 
when we are purchasing a two wheelers definitely we'll expect some services while uh, uh, you know if you purchase new two wheeler we'll expect some uh, accessories or extra extra accessories for our bikes a two wheeler uh, in, while purchasing itself we'll ask we want seat cover we want uh, hand grip we want mirror we want board or something we'll expect them. so we want some mat foot uh, mat like that we'll expect it so again <clears throat> after purchasing a product we may expect some more uh, services like sir we want uh, uh, post purchase services like services the engine oil services engine oil check or monthly ones we want to check our uh, you know uh, vehicle the services continuous services is required uh, you know required for our vehicles so that also we expect that may be a free uh, services we expect at least three uh, services so that is vital role customer services plays a vital role if the retailers are giving a good uh, services for the customers definitely customers may attract customers definitely attract for our custom uh, our retailing uh, stores then fourth uh, characteristic sales promotions are offered at this point only only sales promotions to push the more quantity of the product they will be concentrating on this point only because they can't do anything sales promotion sir if you purchase i will give one more extra buy one get one free is it possible when they are giving a promotion itself when they are giving a retailing itself sorry wholesaling itself or manufacturing itself it's little difficult to give that such kind of offer but once the customers come for the shop they may give offer like sir you are the loyal customer sir i will give one get buy one get one free offer for you Sir, I will give fifty percent concession for you. So, like that, the discount offers or any other promotional things, sales promotion, pushing a more quantity of the product for the customers, it, it, it definitely it will happen in retail sh uh, shops itself. Then fourth, sorry, fifth characteristic that is retail outlets are more than any other form of business. The more retailers, more retail stores, definitely. brings more business for the manufacturers the more number of retailers increases the number of profit or increasing the number of profit with using of number of retailers so it is day by day it is increasing it's not decreasing all the businesses are depended on retailers because it is a ending point when that customers are where the customers can get the products of the manufactured by the manufacturer so the number of retailers or retail outlets are um, are are having a more priority or more preference in this you know retailing segment it may be like manufacturers or wholesalers prefer they give the more priority for this retail store characteristic that is the location and layout are critical factors in the retail business we have to any any retailer supposed to be select the best location the best city best uh, you know area or best retail shop they have to select the areas or locations in a best way they have to make a marketing analysis they have to go for the uh, field survey they have to analyze the uh, you know cities areas and also the uh, shops they have to see that all locations properly then also the layout however we want if you design the layout the customers may feel stress while finding or while while identifying the products or services they are not supposed to feel difficult to find the products or services so layout design now is is a little critical factor for the retail business and selection of the location also a uh, little critical factor for retail business the last characteristic that is seventh characteristics of retail business that is it offers employment opportunity to all age you know country in india we can you can feel you, you can you can find out uh, the even children the people who have crossed uh, 14 of 14 years of age they also working in this uh, um, you know uh, retail business and also people who got retired according to indian government 60 age is uh, 60th age is a retirement age after retirement also people are working in this 
retail business it gives our employment opportunity for all the people without concerning of their education their age their background their category their religion or all it's giving a more employment opportunity it's not like without considering any other characteristics it's giving a more opportunity as a employment for all age all people then uh, i think uh, you you are uh, clear with this uh, characteristics of retail let us go for uh, next one that is emergence of organizations of retailing the another question they may ask in a different way that is major factors responsible for the growth of organized retailing in india so they may ask in a different way also uh, why that uh, uh, you know organized retailing sector is getting growth in indian uh, prospecty so they may ask that question in the exams or anywhere so we have listed out 10 points uh, relating to this heading <coughs> let us discuss one by one that is growth of middle class consumers you know the consumers or the plays the major role their income their growthness their their, their level of uh, lifestyle is all matters nowadays middle class people are passionate towards the uh, retail uh, uh, segment they are try to purchase more products or more quantity of the products or more different kinds of products or now before it was like middle class people are not had that habit of going for shopping only rich people yo if, if you have heard in a, you just ask your father or mother or your grand uh, parents you just ask them they used to say like they have gone for the shopping to purchase is uh, sarees for kanchivaram or kanchi madurai or somewhere for the weddings and all that is the rich people were saying that one but middle class people they are purchasing from local market it will be like their local market in a bangalore some places will be there like that some places they are uh, you know they were they were uh, preferred to purchase a product but nowadays even middle class people are also going to purchase uh, uh, you know they are going to prefer that uh, retail uh, purchasing and their level of growth also increased that is a one uh, major factor which is bringing growthness in our indian retail segment then second uh, point increase in the number of working women before it was like uh, it may be like before independence and after independence till uh, 1960 or 1970 the working women are very less it was a slogan uh, before independence and after independence for some uh, decades women are there to work at home not in, in any office or any outside that is a, that what that was a word which was spreaded among the community of the people in india but after uh, some years after some decades uh, later uh, uh, independence so we, we working women work women are came out from their family or they have came out from their houses they started to work for uh, their betterment and they have started to work for the betterment of their kids uh, kids a betterment of their family so it, it has increased uh, it, it also impacted on on increasing the number of uh, retail segment before there was not uh, there was no fancy stores there was no beauty parlors and all so nowadays it has increased because women are started to work in a in, a, in, a, in somewhere in a corporate or organized sector or in organized sectors or somewhere but their passion or their, their lifestyle has changed their income also changed because of that reason many retail segment has also increased then value for money they are giving a value for money before like they are they, they were they were concerning they were uh, more more uh, concerned about uh, saving the money they are try to save the money uh, you know uh, earlier days but now it's not like today we are alive we want to enjoy how much we are having the money whatever money we are having in our hand we have to enjoy with this money for today tomorrow we will look for the tomorrow you know we will think tomorrow itself or yesterday we don't bother about yesterday for the future saving future we don't know about the future they don't know about anything so they were not bothering many people are having this mindset today we have to ally with a happy whatever money we are having we have to spend it and we have to enjoy our life so that that kind of he has came that kind of attitude has came with the uh, people so that is also one factor or one reason to get growth of organized retailing in india then emerging rural market 
before like rural market rural people they were not at all bothering about of purchasing they were had that habit of the bata system exchanging the products into products exchanging something into something or something that 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 category was there that uh, practice was there before but later coming days or later uh, that it may be after uh, uh, globalization in india the more people are also uh, you know had uh, are they got that some impact on the globalization especially rural market also got that impact of that uh, uh, you know uh, retail segment they started to uh, you know purchase the product from the organized or non organized retail segment the number of retail segment has increased in the rural areas also before like exchanging the products but now exchanging the products into money or money into products so how where they can exchange it through that retail stores so that has one one uh, uh, you know reasons for uh, getting a growth in organized retailing then let us go for next point that is a fifth one entry of corporate segment many corporate segment entry many many corporate companies also in, in, in entered for this retail segment just i will give uh, some example of indian uh, corporate sectors you know that reliance has entered for the uh, retail segment reliance fresh reliance digital reliance trends then uh, the birla company also entered as a more showroom so these all you know uh, the examples where the companies corporate sectors also entering uh, even the coffee shop the coffee day has entered the corporate segment has came before it was unorganized coffee shops were there we used to go there we have to pay 10 rupees or 15 rupees and we are consuming a cup of coffee but now it is corporate coffee shops starbucks and coffee day is all entered for this uh, uh, retail segment so that is one more reason to great growth in indian retail segment then entry of foreign retailers you know that uh, recently there was there is a talk like walmart is entering for the indian uh, retail segment and also some foreigners also in, already enter like uh, uh, big bazaar then uh, starbucks and even uh, then mcd pizza hut dominos this all uh, you know corporate or foreigners are entering for this uh, retail segment it is also one reason getting a growth of i know organized retail sector in india then technological impact technology also in, increased before we were uh, you know uh, when when earlier days we were going and purchasing a product from the stores but now everything is possible in our mobile phone we can purchase the product when wherever we want however we want the product will deliver to the door stuff before it was like customers are going and shopping the product in retail stores but now the products are retailers or sellers are coming for the customers door stuff so that is the one technological impact you have lot of uh, platforms like amazon flipkart mahindra this all platforms are there they are coming at delivering the product for the customer place itself then next one eighth point that is a raising income we are raising our income the day to day activities through the day to day activities because of our uh, uh you know uh, professional uh, changes we are increasing our income as well as our increase uh, we are started to increase our expectations also our purchasing power has increased because of our income our our profession is bringing more income or uh, our our income we we were trained to have it to our more uh, sources for the income so that is impacting on our lifestyle that lifestyle also impacting to or it is pushing it is influencing the people to purchase more products from retail segment that is also one uh, impact or one is a one factor which is getting a growth in retail india then ninth one that is media exploitation so in a media exploitation in a in a media you can find many uh, products are promoting as a advertising as a promotion and you have seen uh, many uh, platforms many channels also came to promote the products you know you have seen uh, that tall nap tall tv channel is always 24 into 7 they are pushing the products through that advertisements not in, not at all any entertainment uh, entertainment uh, activities or entertainment programs will be telecast in the nap tall only the product promotions so media exploitation it may be like trp more trp uh, program is there more tr uh, more trp uh, channels are there so in that channels we are the uh, retailers or wholesalers used to give a uh, you know 
advertisements especially in the trp time itself more trp time more viewers are watching the tv channel that time itself we have to telecast the uh, advertisements so that is also media explosion medias are promoting our products for the customers in their their place itself need not to go anywhere need not to send any humans to promote our products need not to have it any advertisements outside you know outside the house so it all promoting uh, through that medias just in a doorstep itself even we are using the media internet like uh, uh, you know um, whatsapp wechat or else you know in the, uh, instagram facebook it is all papers newspapers also we are in, you know involved then magazines also in, involved so tele broadcast media as like uh, you know uh, radios radio channels television channels so these all even programs some reality shows through that the products are promoting so that is also one uh, factor which is influencing in organized retailing in india then last one rise of consumerism we have you know raised our consumerism uh, you know we, we have started to consumer consume more quantity of the products before we have not had any habit of using the cosmetics but we started to use it so consumerism has increased we are treating we are trying to have it more just like we are not had any luxurious life before if we had one tv in our house it's enough but now we want the tvs for all uh, rooms which is available in our house even in a bedroom also we want uh, uh, you know tvs we want key in a, a tv in a kitchen also we want in a uh, you know in a hall also we want uh, some tvs so this all that the consumerism has increased we are expect how we were uh, uh, we, we were trained to consume the product in all places wherever it possible so that is in, that is also one factor that is also one influence which is going to rise or which is going to bring growth in our organized retailing in india so this all about in today's topic we have covered this all things so in the next class we will go for some other topics uh, thank you i am signing off uh, professor manjunath s uh, assistant professor department of management studies sai vidya institute of technology rajan kunte bangalore thank you thank you all thank you for your uh, watching